Welcome, welcome back, ladies and gents. Uh, I just want to make a tiny update to the last video. And yeah, <clears throat> as you see, I'm playing with the soldering iron. And after a few circles, like get it all too hot and wait until it's cool down, warm up again and cool down, and so on, so on, that's take a little bit too much time. And I get bored of that process and actually I do find uh, another way to get those thingy a slightly faster and with quite comfort and actually what I did find it was this kind of pliers I'd never thought about it before but as they are just laying here I not use them so often but yeah as you can see they are totally round at the both sides and they basically uh, used for making um, loops on the on the wire for example if you got copper wire you just grab it make a loop with the right size you want and just put it on let's say some kind of screw and put the nuts on so your wire will stand on the spot anyway what I did find out those round uh, shape allow you uh, to grip the element and as you turn it it doesn't apply instant force it's just applying slowly so that lets you out for example fish out the self elements together uh, with the legs what is dipped in the solder just like so and yeah, let's show, just like so, boom, you grab it, twist it, and yep, as you see, it's come out in one piece, one tantalum to the collection, it's worked well for this tiny transistor as well, and actually this small shape allow you to go in each and every hard accessible point, you can just push it in, and there we go, another tantalum. Mm, yeah, about those tiny transistors, does the job as well. Boom. As I go deeper, sometimes it's happened they come out with all three legs. As I turn slowly, see, Transist, uh, tantalum, another tantalum, red one this time, one more transistor, two legs come out, and yep, there's one more. As you see how uh, small space we got here, so still I'm able to push those tiny pin inside and just twist it around. Okay, this one jump away, that was the first time. Anyway, of course, tiny IC chip, they go out easy, just by the tiny pliers. Boom. Mm, bigger one as well. Anyway, what else do I got here? Not much. Okay, so this one empty. And I did find out, even see those tiny gold pins that does the good work on them as well Boom. all come out together with the solder to the pile to the pile sometimes it's happened when it's like end of the patch just right here or here so uh, the problem is when you go with the wrong way, with the force. For example, if I apply the force this way, often it come out together with the patch. Not this time, of course, because I'm trying to show show it. Let's try another one. Again. No, <laughs> now they don't want to come. Anyway, I did have like here. As I pull this way, see, I 
pull the patch away as well. Come, they're just coming off. Sweet, that's much, much faster than soldering iron. And yes, what else, what else, what else? I want to show, yeah, this one I want to show as well. Even this one, uh, these transistors, as you can see, there is almost no legs on it. So, boom, all three legs together with the solder part come off. Boom. If I try to use, for example, side cutters, and try to grab it. Oh, this one I, I have luck. Yesterday, as I playing, oh, again, luck. Anyway, yesterday I ending up with the only one legs as I using side cutters, and with this one, ah, today is opposite, two legs, one left. Again, three legs, three legs. Three legs as well. Uh, I guess it's all dependent of how old or how it's soldering, how solder was used. That also may can make a little difference. And yes, pins, no problem, coming out. And I, what I like the most uh, is I can just reach very tight area like here two transistor and one uh, tantalum. I can go easily put this one in the middle and just push it out together with the legs at most cases. So tantalums, two legs, Resist, uh, transistor, come out. One more tantalums, uh, maybe this way will be easier. This one jump away, I didn't catch it deep enough. Boom. Come on though. Boom. One more. One tiny IC chip left here, so just grab the tiny pliers, boom, it's out. So uh, that was tiny update, so ladies and gents, I do have a few pieces of that pliers and I actually never use them, as you can see, they're just hanging there, just in case, and actually yesterday they just look at me and I just decided to try it. So such a pliers with the round spiky ends try it as you see it does work for very tiny spots it's easy to fish it in or put it in and yeah that make depopulating much easier and and much faster comparing to soldering iron so that's tiny update for the latest video I think I'm gonna put this video right after uh, the other one. Anyway, so good luck and have fun. Take care, peeps. Bye for now.